Hello, my YouTube friend. I'm back with another mega epic Funko Pop haul. I have a ton of stuff to go through. I have a mystery box from a patron of mine, some collection trades, a few retail purchases, and other threads by Zavi Box, and just a whole bunch of stuff to go through. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to make it easier for you guys this time. If this video gets to 700 likes, I'll film and post another mega epic Funko Pop haul. Okay, so like my video. All right, let's, uh, let's just get started because we're going to have a lot of fun today. Uh, all right, I'm going to start with one non-pop item. I actually bought this last summer and I just had the box put to the side with stuff of I didn't really want to film or I thought I would film later or a non-pop video because it's a Hikari. It's not a pop. But, uh, you know, I wanted to film it because this thing is cool. Oh, he is neat. So we have the Hikari Sheriff. He's in gold. He's like a... He's an Asian myth character of some sort. Just gonna open this up. He's limited 250 pieces. He is pretty awesome. I want to, this year once, uh, you know, if I can get my income coming to a level where I can actually start buying new stuff for the video. In fact, everything in this video is stuff I bought probably three to five months ago. <laughs> so it's older stuff I'm still catching up. I still have three or four more videos worth of stuff to film. And then once I do that, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. But I do want to work on my Hikari collection because I love these. I think they're just really cool vinyl figures for a really good price. He is really neat. I actually want to look at him a little bit. Like he's got like a, a plastic clamshell, but then they wrapped him in fabric. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I ended up paying, I think like 20 bucks for him. I mean, a steal. With a limit of 250 pieces, I think 20 bucks. I think it was like $20 shipped. Awesome price. He is cool. It's fun. The way I collect is I go through spurt. I collect so many different things that I uh, I get bored. Like right now, a little bit bored of collecting pops just because I've purchased so many in the last year or so. So I kind of go into moods to collect other things. So I go in spurts where I'll buy like three to five Akaris. Then I'm really happy with that. And then I'll wait another year or so and I'll buy a few more. And they're not making any more. They haven't made any in a couple of years. So I feel like this is one set I'll be able to put together eventually. Super cool. Okay, I want to mention I got a letter from Joe in Maryland. Uh, Joe, thank you for sending the letter. I'm not going to read it on camera because it's a little bit personal. I want to say thank you for sending the letter. It's very touching. I'm sorry to hear about your mom. I know it's really tough. There's a lot of people suffering right now, and I'm happy that my videos can bring you a little bit of relief. But I really appreciate the letter. It, it, uh, you know, it, it's touching. I like getting letters. I like hearing from you guys. And it always makes my day just to get a nice letter. So thank you, Joe. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go through this trade. This was with Xavier. I traded in, uh, I'm guessing like December, November, January. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, nothing too exciting in here, but a couple things I needed. Okay, we have Dwight from the office. I believe I needed this one, so this one's going into my collection. We have a Sidon Ethanu from Star Wars. This one I'm pretty sure I have, so this one I'll be putting on Makari. We have a specialty series Popeye. I really love this pop. This is a cool pop. This one I'm pretty sure I have already, so this won't go on Macari. And then we have, this one is cool. We have a Marvel Collector Core Rhino. Uh, I believe I have this one already, but the box is kind of damaged. So I'll be putting this one on Macari pretty cheap, probably like 40% below PPG. He is cool though, I love that pop. Okay, next we have the Venomized Venom, or it's where, you know, he's transforming. Very cool pop, pretty sure I have this one, so this won't be going on Macari. Uh, we have a original Harry Potter. I think, yeah, it's number one. So this one I have a couple of. I'm going to double check on because I think there's been a couple weird variants of him. But I think this one's going on Makari. Then we have a Nappa from Dragon Ball Z. This one I don't have, so this one's going into my collection. And then finally we have a Elephant Abu from Aladdin. Very cute. I think I have this one. This one I'm going to have to double check. All right, so that's everything from Savior. Thanks for the treat. Okay, that box is kind of more common stuff, but I know one or two of these boxes have a lot of Volted Pops, so it's gonna be really exciting once I get to those. Uh, next, I'm gonna go through this box. This is a mystery box that comes from my patron, Al. He sent it to me in January, I believe. I think he even forgot that he sent it to me because I mentioned it, you know, like a month ago. Um, I misplaced this, so I wasn't sure where I put it, but I just found it a couple days ago. So I'm actually excited to dig into it. He said, enjoy for you to keep, sell, or gift. So I uh, I can do whatever I want with this. Thanks, Al. I appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to have fun digging into it. I have no idea what's in here. <laughs> Ooh, it looks like some random action figures and toys and stuff. Okay, cool. 
Let's see what we got. We got a poster. It's or art. Oh, that's kind of neat looking. It's a Darth Vader. I guess it's a print. Yeah, it's not original art, but it's a signed print. That is neat. Okay, we have. This is cool. We have a Black Series Jin Urso. She is really neat. I actually will keep that. I don't really collect the Black Series too much, but I do like female action figures. So this one will go into my collection. And then we have uh, Kylo Ren. He is really cool. This is the cool kid's favorite Star Wars character. So I'm actually going to give that to him. He'll actually really like that. Okay, we have a Hulk Pez, I believe. No, I don't think this is the one that came with the Collector Core box. I don't know if I have this one. This one I'm going to have to double check. Very cool. Okay, it looks like we have a Mystery Mini. I believe that's the Woody Harrelson character from the Solo movie. That's cool. I don't think I have him. Neat. Very neat. Thank you. And then we have a pop in a box. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is cool. It's the 2019 ECC Comic Con exclusive Void from Incredibles 2. I, I might have her. So I might actually put this one up on Makari. But I'm going to have to double check. I really like this pop, though. She is amazing. And then finally, what do we have here? We have, oh, this is cool. We have the Dorbs Ride of the Stealth Blackbird from X-Men. I don't remember if I actually ended up getting this one. That might be one of the few rides left I still need. This one, I'm going to have to double check. Very cool. Thank you, Al. I really appreciate it. I have a Threads by Zavi box. This is the January box. I have a few more left. I think I have three more to open. So if you guys still want me to do more of these, I will open them. I know some of you really enjoy when I do the shirt transitions. So just a reminder, this box, uh, they send it to me for free to review. It's, I think, $12.99 if you want to buy just one box or $10 a month if you do a three-month or more subscription. And what you do is you get one t-shirt, like a nerdy, geeky kind of t-shirt, and a graphic novel each month. I think it's a lot of value for what you pay, and it's always fun. That's what it looks like. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we have a nice gray t-shirt. Do you like gray t-shirts? Ooh, it's Popeye. Oh, that's neat. Cool. I like Popeye. I'm a big fan of, you know, Fleischer Studios and the old school Popeye. So this is really neat. Okay, let's get this on. All right. Oops. All right. Oh, it's nice. It feels very comfy. It's a good fit. And I just like that it's kind of simple. It's not like a big overall design. I like it. I actually, I'll probably wear this shirt often. Okay, and then the graphic novel, we have a Wolverine graphic novel. Okay, that is neat. Okay, very cool. I'm actually really happy. I mean, if I paid $10 for this box, the graphic novel alone is worth $10. Shirt alone is at least $10. So I think you got a lot of value out of that. All right, awesome. Happy with that. All right, let's see what's next. We got a... Uh, oh, this is a Target order. I ordered this in by the end of December into January because it was on sale. So this is... <laughs> it's like a time warp. I'm going back four months. Everyone did their videos four months ago. But it's the Peppermint Lane. I love these Christmas ones. They are cute. And the, um, well, I guess it's Mrs. Claus. I think the prices on these are starting to go up now. So I'm kind of happy I grabbed some of them. But I'm still missing a few from the set. And this is one of those cool double sets with the little mini pop. I love this. Awesome. I love her cute little smile too. I kind of like pops when they give them mouths. I kind of wish they would do them more often. I think I paid like $5 or something super cheap because it was on sale. Love that. Uh, okay, we have another box. This was... Uh, Okay, this is cool. This comes from my patron, Raphael. He listed some stuff on Macari, and I saw him list it. So I decided to buy something from him. I think he said he added a couple items to the package. So we're going to see. Okay, all right. Awesome. Okay, so we have the Futura C-3PO, the Target exclusive. I just love the way they're packaged in the stackers. I kind of wish more... Po I mean, the price is, what, 25 retail? So it really jacks the price up. This is neat. I really like that. Uh, okay, and then we have that just that. Oh, no, there's something else in here. Okay. It looks like you gave me a little free gift. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see what it is. I'm kind of excited. And, uh, we got a loose figure. I think. I can't tell what it is. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, he gave me the Dr. Pepper guy. I don't have him yet. 
He's not in his box, but that's okay. I'm just happy to have him loose. That is amazing. Wow. Thank you, Raphael. I wasn't expecting that. What a surprise. Oh, neat. Okay, that is really neat. Did they, the way it looks, did they ship some like out of the package or did they have a box? That I'm not sure of because I'm, you know, I've been kind of out of the information loop the last few months just from being sick to uh, winter time's really slow in the store. So I'm not like spending a lot of money. And then the whole pandemic lockdown thing. So I don't have a lot of knowledge on him. I just know that he was free if you bought like a few sodas and whatnot. That is awesome. Wow. Oh, thank you. Okay, and then this is cool too. He told me he, I think he got this for free at the last New York Comic Con and he was going to give it to me. He was going to send it to me. I told him, wait, don't send it to me. Just bring it with him the next time he comes to my shop once we open up. But since I ordered this from him, he actually added it. And this is amazing. It's an Arthur Adams New York Comic Con exclusive. I'm not sure exactly what comic it is, but I love Arthur Adams artwork. And I just, I really, really wanted this. So thank you, Raphael. I really appreciate it. Wow, thank you. You made my day. This is cool. Awesome. Okay, let's do another small box. This one is... Oh, this comes from Tyler. I bought this in the winter. I didn't really have some cash, but uh, I think he needed to raise a few dollars. So I was like, okay, I'll see what I can do. And I bought a couple of bolted pops from him. You know, kind of grails. And he gave them to me for a really good price. So let's go through these. This is exciting. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have John Lennon from the Beatles. Very awesome. The pop rocks. I love these pops. I love any music related pop. I do want to put this whole set together. I didn't have any. The box is a little bit beat up, but that's okay. Honestly, this is what, 2012? Most pops from 2012, when people bought them, they just looked at them as a cheap trinket. You buy it, you take it out of the box, you throw it on your shelf. So people didn't preserve them like they do today. So a lot of the boxes of the earlier pops are going to be damaged. And if you look at the value of these on Pop Price Guide, that value is pretty much the value for a box that's a little bit beat up. If you want one of these in mint, you're going to have to pay more than Pop Price Guide. And I believe, honestly, most of the pops from this era, they made probably less than 10000 In some cases, probably only 5000 So they were limited print and... Most people who got them didn't really treat them as like a rare collectible. So a lot of the boxes got damaged and a good percentage of them just got tossed. People took them out. And so you'll see a lot of these pops from this era out of the box. So I'm actually really happy to have that. And I, even though it's a little bit damaged, I'm still happy to have it just because of the rarity. And that's another reason why people pay a lot for those. Just because they're kind of hard to find. Okay. And then from the same set, we have the Blue Meanie. He is neat. Okay, really love that one. So I got two. I think John's probably the hardest one to get. So it's a good start to the set. Now I have to find the others. I feel like I might have the Blue Meanie already. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't think I have any of the others. So actually really happy to get those. Awesome. Thank you, Tyler. Okay, before I dig in, this is the box full of Grails. I think this is another cheap note. Okay, these two boxes left are sort of like folded or Grail Pops. So I'll do those last. First, I'm going to do one more retail box. Uh, I think this is another Target order from like December into January. I kind of wish I had more money back then because there's so many stores doing these big sales. GameStop had like a $2 pop sale. I probably could have bought 200 pops for my collection. But I did grab a few things. Oh, sweet. Okay, this is cool. All right, yeah, this was definitely a sale so i got one of the black friday marvel boxes i think this was like 10 bucks <laughs> i kind of wish i bought more i just bought it to fill in the collection to get free shipping i think it's free shipping on a 30 dollar order so i tried to pay 30. let's see so i haven't done any of these yet let's see if i actually get a chase they're kind of fun damn all right let's see who i got okay it's miles morales i think it's just a common so this box had a sticker, the Gamer Miles Morales. I don't have that one yet, so I'm actually happy to get that. The, oops, he's coming out of his box. But we have the little keychain Gamer Miles Morales. That is cool. We have a pin. That is neat with the spider symbol on it. And then the Gamer Deadpool Pez. So that is cool. For $10, you're paying $2.50 on the item. Great, great price. I kind of wish I bought more of these. <laughs> I would have, you know, loved to put the set together. But 
I think later on, once things kind of open up again, there's going to be a lot of people have these to treat in. And then for $10, they had the My Hero Academia. I forget his name. I'm so bad with remembering names. To to Toyomi? Uh, I can't remember. But for 10 bucks, heck yeah. This was like, I didn't have money to spend at the time, but for $10, I had to get this. And the My Hero Academia is one set I do want to complete. Okay, so we have the shirt. It's a very nice shirt. Kind of wish I bought two of these now. Because I would wear that shirt. And we have the pop. Let's see what the pop looks like. Oh, yeah, he's cool. He's metallic. Fumi Cage Tokiyami. I can't remember his name. That is neat, though. I love the way he looks. Okay, awesome pop. So happy to get that. Okay, and then the last thing I bought was the Perfect Cell pop from Dragon Ball Z. Again, $10 for the set. That was awesome. When they do these $10 sales, it just blows my mind the value you get. Because this $10 is so cheap. Okay, let's see what we got. We got the t-shirt. Very cool t-shirt. I've said in the past, I do keep these intact because I like keeping sets like this as one piece. Oh, and he's really cool. So we have the metallic perfect cell. He is neat looking. Wow, ten dollars is such a steal on that figure. Okay, that was awesome. Happy with that. Finally, we're gonna get into the collection. This was a trade from Tolly. He uh, he always trades to me like the coolest vaulted stuff or just interesting stuff. It's stuff that he bought more like in bulk back in the day. So he would get it you know, on sale for like $8, hold on to it until it became vaulted and valuable, or he would buy it right as they vaulted it when it was still cheap and then he'd hold on to it. So he trades it to me. I give him about 75% of the pop price guide in trade value. And what he usually does is he trades me a whole like 30 items and then he'll take some more expensive items. So I think it works out for him. He adds to his collection, he sells it easier, a little bit of that stuff. And I get a lot of cool stuff. Some stuff I add to my collection. And I get a little bit of value out of it. Okay, let's start going through this. Okay, we have Arlo from The Good Dinosaur. He is out of print. I do have that one, though. So that one will be going on in Macari. I think there's going to be a lot of vaulted pops here. Uh, okay, we have from the Marvel Collector Core, we have the Holiday Thor. That one I just got, what, video two ago? So that one go on Macari. Uh, we have the Mariner Moose. I sold one of these semi-cheap. I, I probably gave them away, but he's neat. I have him already, so he'll be going up on Macari. Okay, next we have the Grand Admiral Thrawn from 2017 Galactic Convention exclusive. He is a cool pop. I absolutely love this pop. It does have value. It looks like it was um, a Japanese import because all the Japanese pops will have the sticker on the bottom. But he uh, he definitely has some value. I have him already, so he's going up on Macari. Okay, next we have Lulu from The Fifth Element. She is awesome. I love The Fifth Element, one of my all-time favorite movies. This one I do have already, so that one will be going up on Macari. So this is sweet. I'm going to have some bolted stuff for you guys. Okay, and then we have the Holiday Groot from the Marvel Collector Core. I got this a video two ago, but the one I had had the box damage. So I'm actually keeping this one. I'll be selling the beat-up one for like five bucks. Okay, and then we have uh, Alex Ovechkin. I can't say his name. From the Washington Capitals. This one I'll definitely list in because I don't really collect the sports stuff. I'm sure someone will be happy to pick that up. Okay, so that's everything in that box. Oh, and then one random action figure. <laughs> Not really worth anything. Okay. I think this box is a lot more interesting and bolted stuff. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we have the Kamikaze Storm. That one I have already, so I'll be putting that one on Makari. This is good. I'm kind of running out of better stuff. I've been listing a lot of the cheap, like, kind of beat-up stuff or $5 stuff. So hopefully by the time you see this video, I'll be listing a bunch of, the, like, the $20 to $50 pops. Uh, oh, we have Doug from Up. I love this pop. I think I have this one, but that one I'm going to have to double check. Neat. Okay, next we have the Gus Gus and Slipper from Cinderella. Adorable pop. I think I had that one already, so that one will be for sale. We have, oh, the Dosh Hound from the Pets. I can't remember if I got this one or not. This one I actually might have already. So this one's cool. I do like the pet ones. These ones went vaulted real quick, so they all have a little bit of value. So I believe that one will go up on Macari. Uh, oh, next we have Katniss, the girl on fire version. I love this pop. She looks really cool. This one I do have already, though, so this one will be for sale. Which is good. I like getting a lot of nicer pops to put out for sale. Uh, oh, okay, we have the Cedric's Diggory. It's a Simple Toys exclusive from Singapore. 
It's a Harry Potter pop. So this is uh, a sticker variant compared to the US one. I think the US one was like a Hot Topic exclusive. So this one I'll probably actually keep because I like getting the international sticker variants. So that is really cool. I like those. Uh, okay, what do we have? Oh, this is a nice one. So we have the Star Trek teleporting Howard Wallowitz from the Big Bang Theory limited to 1,008 pieces. I don't remember if I have this one. This one I'm going to have to double check because I know I have two or three of the characters out of the four. So I might be missing the Howard. So that one I'm not 100% sure on. But that is cool. I love this. Oh, this is a bigger one. What do we have here? Oh, we have a Snuffleupagus. Love this pop. I do have this one already though. So that one I'll be sticking out on my car. Lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff. Uh, oh, okay. We have the BB-8 San Francisco Giants exclusive. That one I don't have. So that's going into my collection. That one's neat. Okay, we have Simba from The Lion King. This one I'm pretty sure I have, though, so that one will be for sale. Okay, and next we have... Oh, this one is cool. So it's the Gears of War Scourge. I think this is the one that came in the box. No, this one didn't come in the box. This is just a regular one. I think I need that one. That one is neat. I love the details on those. Okay, fantastic. Okay, next we have the French Bulldog from Pets. I don't have that one. That one's going into my collection. That is neat. Okay, next we have the Miku from Pocahontas. This one, I'm pretty sure I have already. So that one will be for sale. Okay. Oh, this one is really cool. We have the Merlion. It's a Simple Toys exclusive from Singapore. That one is neat. I don't have that one. This one's going into my collection. Sweet. I didn't know there was cool ones like that in here. I kind of forgot. Ah, uh, okay, we have the Toy Tokyo exclusive Monster Cereals Dorb set. I don't remember if I got this one. I actually might need it. So that is really neat. Okay. Next we have, from Pinky and the Brain, we have Pinky. That one I have already, so that one will be for sale. I'm sure someone will want that. A lot of these are going to sell real quick. Because it's a lot of really cool vaulted stuff. Uh, okay, next we have the Elliot Alderson Chase from Mr. Robot. Pretty sure I have that one already, though. Very cool. Someone will want that. Okay, next we have Mowgli from the Jungle Book. This one I'm pretty sure I have as well, so that one will be listed. All right. Next we have the Draco Malfoy. It's again a Singapore Simple Toys exclusive. So this one I'm going to keep for a sticker variant. I have the regular one, but I don't have this one, so I'm going to keep that. I like the sticker variants. Okay, then we have the Draco Malfoy. This is a different one, isn't it? Yeah, this is a different version. This has a Pop Life sticker on it. I don't remember if the one I have already has the Pop Life, so this might be an international release. Not 100% sure, but I think that one I will sell. Next, we have Drew Brees from the Saints. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. I don't collect the football stuff, so that one will be for sale. Uh, ooh, we have Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. Love this pop. I do have this one already, though, so that one will go up. I'm sure that one will sell real quick, though. I, actually, most of these are going to sell pretty quick. Oh, okay, we have the Common Mater from Cars. I don't think I have this one. I think I just have the exclusive. So that one I'm keeping. Awesome. Okay. Next, we have Beef Squatch from Boz Burgers. Love this one. This one I think I have already. So that one will go on Macari. Okay, next we have... Oh, we have the really cool Golden Bruce Lee. It's a bait exclusive. Ah, I forget. I think I have this one. But this one I'm going to have to double check. Absolutely love this one. But if I do have him, he'll be going up for sale. Awesome pop. Okay, next we have the original Yondu. This is cool. Pretty sure this one has a bit of value from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Love that one. Do have that one already. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cool. We have the 8-bit Hello Kitty Chase. Neat. I don't have her yet. So that one's going into my collection. Awesome. Love that. Okay, next we have Sackboy from Little Big Planet. I think I have that one already. Very cool pop, though. I like when they make pops of like, almost every game, so this is cool. I do really like this one. Okay, next we have the Zen O Galactic Toy Exclusives from Dragon Ball Super. I think I have that one, so that one will go on Makari. This is good. Lots of good stuff for Makari. I love it. Uh, okay, and then we have Pumbaa from The Lion King. I don't think I have this one. I actually might need this one. This one I'm going to have to double check. Awesome. I love getting these older Disney pops. What year did this come out? 2015. Very cool. Okay, and then one more pop. We have the... Well, we have me, basically. So me as a pop from the Fifth Element. I love this one. He is super cool. I do have this one already, though, so that one will be for sale. Very cool. Love it. Huh. 
All right, thanks for the trade, Tolly. I really appreciate it. That was a lot of fun stuff. I wanted to mention to you guys, a lot of you know I have a Patreon, but I don't think a lot of you go because you just feel like you don't want to donate a dollar to a month, which I understand. So I do really appreciate anyone who helps support the channel because it helps pay the expenses. It helps keep me going. But for a lot of you, you asked me to do mystery boxes. I don't really like to do just a general mystery box. You know, I throw in maybe a bunch of junk I can't sell and then occasionally you get like a really nice pop. I don't really like doing that. I like people to get the stuff they want. So on my Patreon, I actually have mystery boxes that are based on your pop price guide list. I basically try to save pops as I get them. Like if I open up a big box and I see a pop out of this box that's on your want list, I'll actually pull it to the side and I'll put in your mystery box. So I have a one pop a month mystery box that's $15, which is going to give you a $10 to $15 pop based on your want list or what's in your collection already. I kind of see what you collect. If you like Star Wars, maybe I'll get a cool $15 Star Wars pop I see you don't have. I'll give that to you. Um, and I also have a $40 a month box where you get $40 worth of value based on your pop price guide list again. So I'll look, maybe I'll get a $40 pop that you need that's on your want list. Or maybe I see, maybe you like Marvel stuff and I get a really cool Spider-Man pop that's like 30 bucks and then I'll give you like a $10 Marvel pop. But either way, I will give you the full $40 value and I basically cover the shipping myself. And if you would like a bigger box, if you would like $100 a box a month, I would actually set that up. I like doing it because to me, it's a lot of fun trying to guess and put together what kind of box that you might like. And uh, I have a lot of fun. Yeah, it takes some time. Sometimes it takes me a couple weeks. Occasionally, it might even take me a month for me to put your box together. But in the end, I want you to have a mystery box that's all stuff that you love that you really want. I don't want to just throw a bunch of junk at you. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my Patreon. That's where I do the mystery boxes. I have a lot of fun doing them every month. I want to thank my patrons for supporting my channel. With their help, I'm able to do more videos like this more often. If you want to help support my channel as well, I'll put a link to the Patreon right there. If this is the first time watching one of my mega epic Funko Pop hauls and you really enjoyed it, why don't you click the over button face to subscribe? Why not? I'll make more videos like this just for you. And I'm going to put a couple other mega epic Funko Pop hauls right there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.